Good morning, Fort St. John Lions Church, and thank you for joining us in this week of prayer and fasting. And I really, I really hope and pray that this week has helped you to block out the noise of the world and to focus on God, and that you have heard from him how much he loves you, and just how much he wants to walk with you every day, just like this. Today, our focus is on a prayer for the church. And the prayer for the church that I, I think he has for us is one that we continue on in this week and that we each seek God and give him control over our lives and over our time and that we would focus on him and just allow him to teach us about himself and about ourselves and for what he has for us going forward. And I think about the season we've come through in the, about 18 months without uh, a lead pastor. And at the beginning of that time, Darren Ryan said to us that he felt God was saying we wouldn't get a new lead pastor until we weren't dependent on a lead pastor and that we were going to have to learn a lot about ourselves and about God in that time. And and truthfully, he never really knew what that lesson was going to be, and none of us did either. And yet here we are at the end of that season. And uh, it's been amazing to watch people step into roles in the church and to grow closer to God and to, to give God opportunities to work in their lives. And I never would have fathomed how, how I would have been a part of it, and yet it has been unbelievably rewarding for me as God clearly asked me in, through my role on the board to be a part of the preaching team and be get over my fears and be willing to do that. And through that, as much work as it's been and scary, he has taught me more about himself and about myself and the relationship he wants to have with me in the last 18 months than I, than I learned in the 18 years before it. And I really believe the reason it's been such a good season is because I focused on him and before I wasn't giving him that time. And I've watched the same in so many of you. And so as we shift out of that season into a new season where a new lead comes and the McGilvers come and start on April 1st. And I just pray that we would continue to focus on God and what he has for us in this season and, and make intentional time to be quiet and to listen to God and be like, God, what do you want to teach me about yourself? What do you want to teach me about myself? What do you want to teach me about how you want me to live or who you want me to love? And new leadership brings new perspective and a different way of teaching God's promises to us. And I just pray that we would just go into this next season like we did the last with opening ourselves up to God and the plan that he has for us. Whether individually, co collectively, I really believe we can grow in leaps and bounds, but it's gonna take, much like this week of prayer fasting, intentional focus on time with God. And so that is my prayer, church, that we would each continue this week on forward into the next season and be willing to let God shape and mold us. God bless and enjoy your Saturday.